understanding, high tide, low tide, navigating through the phrases. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting topic that you might have heard in conversations, songs, or even in weather reports. High tide, low tide. Understanding these phrases can not only enhance your vocabulary but also give you insight into how they are used metaphorically in English. Let's explore together what these phrases mean and how you can use them in your daily English conversations. First, let's break down the literal meanings. High tide refers to the state of the sea or ocean when it's at its highest level against the land. This happens due to the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. On the flip side, low tide is when the sea is at its lowest level. These conditions occur in a regular and predictable cycle, usually twice a day. Understanding these terms is crucial not just for sailors and fishermen, but they also appear in discussions about marine life, climate change, and coastal living. Moving beyond the literal, these phrases have rich metaphorical meanings. In everyday language, high tide can symbolize a peak or a high point in someone's life or career, a time of abundance or success. Meanwhile, low tide often represents the opposite, a period of difficulty, scarcity, or challenge. You'll hear these metaphors used in various contexts, from personal growth talks to business discussions, indicating the ups and downs we all face. To help you better understand, let's look at some examples. Personal growth. I'm currently at a high tide in my life, feeling fulfilled and successful. Challenges. Even at low tide, when things seem tough, it's important to stay positive and keep moving forward. Business. Our company hit a high tide this quarter with record-breaking sales. These examples show how versatile and expressive the English language can be, using natural phenomena to describe life's ebbs and flows. And that wraps up our journey through the meanings and uses of high tide, low tide. Whether you're discussing the natural world or the metaphorical tides in life, these phrases add depth and richness to your English conversations. We hope this video has been enlightening and that you'll feel more confident using these expressions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language learning tips. See you in the next video.